Hey guys, Keith from Divorce the Horse here, and today we're going to talk about entertainment. That's right, entertainment. Something I think you need in your um, van, or your RV, or your tiny home. Entertainment. And the reason being is, there are going to be times when the weather is so crappy, you're not going to want to go outside and do anything. Especially up here in the upper Midwest. So I found a solution to that, if you have enough space. And we're going to dish it out on Dave. That's right, Super Dave, uh, because we are building an arcade in his basement. So today's video is about the unboxing and then the construction of the Arcade 1-Up Galaga and Galaxian machine. This is a three-quarter size video game cabinet, and I bought a riser for it, which was another $40, so it would stand tall like a regular arcade machine. Otherwise, you just sit in a chair and play it. And it's going over here in this corner, which is going to be known as Arcadia. That's right. We're building Arcadia here in the corner. Um, and this little guy is the start of it. And when you see it, you'll see why I said this is good for the RV life. If you've got room in your RV, um, you know, most people don't have a video game cabinet in their RV. So, you know, if you're a socialite and it's just you, but uh, people come by and hang out with you every once in a while in your vehicle... This is the way to go, guys. This is the way to go. So first we're going to start here by cutting the tape off and unboxing this bad boy. I can't really wait to play this. So just like Christmas, I've got everything out of the box. There we go. Those are the sides of the arcade machine. Notice the graphic artwork on it. Pretty awesome. The uh, riser top over here. This box contains the uh, control panel with the uh, joystick and the toggle buttons. And this is the monitor, the monitor. So, let's get started. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. This is great. It says, some assembly required. Some assembly. I'm thinking I'm seeing pretty much all assembly required here. <laughs> so here is uh, the sides. We're gonna have to take these out. Beautiful Galaga. Look at that artwork. Just like the original arcade. Um, as you can see, this is about four feet tall without the riser. The back's in there too. We're gonna take these out and get these put together. So as you can see, they did a really good job of packaging this stuff up. Um, you know, this is not like an IKEA build where you have to guess what screw is which screw. Uh, these are actually labeled by package. A, B, C, D, E. And they even included, wow, look at that, spare parts. In case uh, any of these other things are missing one or two. Wow. I'm impressed for a stop arcade. I'm impressed. Now, guys, I want to be honest with you. I went to film school. I can make movie props out of anything. I can make costumes, screen quality, all that other neat stuff. What I can't do is build something that comes in a box with instructions. <laughs> no. You would not want me to be an airplane mechanic. Let's just put it that way. If I built your entertainment center from Walmart, it would fall apart within like 10 minutes and there'd be extra pieces. So if I can build this build by myself, if I can do this, it is a testimony to um, One Up Arcade's vision of looking forward to seeing guys like me who want to play arcade games but can't build squat. So we're going to put this guy to the test today. <laughs> on with the build let's take a look at the instructions here now as you can see they even label these parts a b c d e f g oh my god it's in chronological order that's amazing take that ikea now first we're going to start by putting dowels in these holes here like this um it doesn't require glue for your household but, you know, if I were you and you're, I'm going to put this in my RV or um, my bus home or whatever, I would definitely use wood glue on all the seams and all the dowels. Um, just because when you're going down the road, your vehicle is going to shake your cabinet like that. And if you don't secure it, you know, with glue on, on top of it or some sort of a caulking on top of it, like a clear silicone, it's going to shake itself apart and, yeah, you'll have holes where screws should be and no place to hold things together, so... Make sure you use wood glue or some silicone clear caulking 
um, on all your joints and I mean just run the whole gamut of that board including the dowels with that substance so that when you stick the stuff together it stays together okay so look at that five minutes under five minutes I already got the bottom in me so we're looking at this and this is made out of this particle board and so is this it's just coated and my buddy Dave super Dave tells me that that will not hold together against the rocking and shaking of a vehicle so I guess if you're gonna do this for your vehicle you could use these pieces of wood as templates and get some good plywood and uh, use the body as templates a little bit more money a little bit more work but probably the wiser thing to do uh, use plywood and use these pieces as templates um, so that you can uh, make sure that your arcade machine doesn't crumble under the stresses of the road that would be sad now it says I need to use board K here and put four dolls in each end of K and do the same in board number L so we're gonna do that and see where this takes us and there we go we got dolls in all the ends of L and both K boards just like the instructions now it's time to turn the page so now we put the K board here and the second K board goes up here and the L board goes way up there to hold the cabinet together. It's part of the frame, it appears to be. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then there's a screw that, uh, you know, these holes are for the two dolls, the outside holes, and the middle one's for the screw that holds it all together. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw those in. You don't have to watch me run a screwdriver. Drive you crazy. Oh my God, so far, this is incredibly easy. I cannot believe it. Totally. You got to check it out. This is amazing for me. And I'm telling you, this is easy. So look at it. I'm already a quarter of the way into this thing, maybe 20 minutes worth of work tops. Everything is going just like the directions say. How, how often does that happen? Everything goes exactly as the directions say. Way to go, up, Kate. first up, Arcade. Love you guys. So then the next step is to take these four brackets and uh, put them on the back of the screen holder. So there's the four brackets, and I need some eight C screws. Those are the C screws. Look at how easy this is coming together. And this is the monitor. So now the brackets are in. So that one's backwards, like that. There we go. So see how that goes. We're going to go ahead and screw those into place with our eight screws. So now I flip the cabinet over on its side because we have to put the monitor in that big slot right there and screw it into place. Okay guys, so look at that. The monitor is in. Monitor is in. Probably about 20-25 minutes into the build and the monitor is already in. I love this build. So the next step was installing the dowels in the end of the B board, just like here. B board is the marquee, which for those of you who don't know what a marquee is, it's the top of the machine, it tells you what game you're playing. Very important for arcade nuts. On to the next step. So the next step is to install the marquee. That would be that right there. And it goes there sideways and there are two bolts that hold it into the place on the top of the cabinet here. And we're just going to screw those bolts right on in. So looky there. Almost all the way together now. <laughs> Guys, if I can do it, you can do it. Let's finish this bad boy. Huh? This is where we are at now. We're about to slide, install the front panel for the decoration of the cabinet. And uh, after that comes the uh, player controller board. Looking pretty sweet. Can't wait to play this. Oh yeah, don't forget that. Gotta build that riser. Hopefully that's not a pain in the butt. So look at that. The front art board just slides right into place. We're getting closer, guys. Closer. Look how easy this build is. It's incredible. Alright, guys. One step closer. All we gotta do is install the uh, controller system now. And I think we're just about in business. And after that... 
the components and then the back slot goes in. And then we're done with the machine itself. Looking pretty sharp for a build. So now the keyboard is installed. The controllers and I just have to finish screwing it into place to secure it down. So one hour later, a big mess I have to clean up. <laughs> and uh, the machine is ready for testing. I'm going to go ahead and boot this bad boy up. See what happens. It's alive. <laughs> I built shit that works. <laughs> there it is, guys. That's the uh, mini arcade machine from First Up Arcade. They sell these at Walmart with all sorts of games, um, including Star Wars Cabinet, which is just coming out. And yeah, that's a must. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 player. These uh, single cabinets run about $300 a piece. Not bad. The riser for it that makes it full size or full height is another $45, although uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comes with its own riser, and so does the new Pac-Man. So uh, let's check this out. Grillmeister Dave, will you do the honors? Sure. There we go. This is on high setting for volume. Real arcade action, guys, in your house. Uh, like I said earlier, if you're going to put this in your vehicle or anything that moves, you're going to want to use the wood frame as a template and uh, trace it out on some plywood and do it all in plywood. So plywood will hold together. This stuff won't. Oh, sweet. So what do you thought so far, Dave? It's the original for sure. So now we got the riser and up and built. So that took about another 10, 15 minutes. It was just as easy as the rest of the box. And Dave can now enjoy uh, Galaxian or Galaga without falling over. And that, my friends, is what bachelor caves are all about. So what do you think, guys? Pretty awesome. These first-up arcade cabinets can be found at Walmart or online. Uh, check them out. Great for your home.